this is a technical review of the 12 volt Land Rover Defender ride on car for kids. Uh, we're in my spare room, so mind the junk. Right, it is 68 centimeters wide, that's from mirror to mirror, obviously, because that's the widest part of the car. 146 centimeters long and 59 centimeters tall, so about two foot high. Now, I bought this for my daughter, she is seven months old. Uh, the recommended age for these is three years plus, uh, but in all fairness, she absolutely loves it. She can pretty much near enough walk now, she's doing quite well for her age. Now, I've took some bits and bobs off so I can show you around it, obviously, because everything's screwed down, so you can't generally see what 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 what's running gear and all that sort of stuff. Now, to put them together, they were quite, <laughs> took about an hour. And basically, you get the body, the wheels are all off, uh, the rear axle comes with motors already attached, it's just simple, you've got to screw it on underneath. Uh, they've got LED lights, you've obviously got a key, you get two keys. So, let's have a little look around, they've got proper mirrors. I see these bend as well, so they're, they're adjustable. Right, let's have a look on inside, well let's do outside first. So let's put ignition on. Right, obviously being uh, made in China, it's a genuinely licensed by Land Rover. Uh, let's have a look. LED lights. Uh, the grill's got a bit of damage there from me the other day playing with it. Obviously, it's not Christmas yet. We've unboxed it. We've put it together. We've let her have a little play in it. Well, I should have said we've let her have a play in it. It comes with a remote control. We'll get back to that in a minute. Right. So, we've got alloy-looking wheels. They obviously, they're obviously plastic. They look good. The tyres aren't ABS plastic. They are like a, a spongy, foamy, rubbery material. And they're quite hard wearing. Obviously, you've got obviously a very good attention to detail. I had a Defender. This is why I got my daughter a Defender. Because when, should we say, my daughter was made, when we uh, produced her, we had a Land Rover Defender. We had a Land Rover Defender 90. Look, it's got real lights. It's even got a little latch. Oops. Nope. You have to shut it properly. And that shuts like that. So as you can see, it's spare wheel. Now, the spare wheel will fit on the front. It won't fit on the back, but it will fit on the front. So you've got your little latch there. Now, the boot. Obviously, you can see number plate lights, 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 exhaust. The boot, it's it can fit probably about three or four cans of a beer in there. So when you go to the shop with her, she can carry a beer back home. And that little latch just goes like that to stop it from opening. You've obviously got a little step as well. Again, genuine Land Rover badged. I mean, the attention to detail... Even the hinges, you know, if, you, if you've ever owned a Defender, you'll uh, you'll see what I mean. With the doors don't really line up, as you can see, the doors don't line up. The windscreen doesn't really line up. It's not bad build quality for what it is. I mean, the to unlock the doors, there's this little knob, what you twist here. I can, I can imagine young ones, three year old, will struggle with that. The door, and then you, this is, we'll get the motor interior in a minute because I'm, I'm getting off track here. This is your power cable, this is where it plugs in. Now, I've just had it on charge, but you've got a little cap, what actually fits over this, which once it's on, it's on. But I've, I've got a feeling it's a bad design. Because obviously, it just pulls off. I've got a feeling that's going to get lost somehow. So I've got to figure out a way to stop it from getting lost. Now, it's got obviously a Puma bonnet. So it's like a, a newer style Land Rover Defender. They've stopped making these cars obviously now. Due to EU law saying that they're unsafe and... 
But I had one. They're brilliant. So let's go on to interior. Interior, you've got clear windows, tinted. You've got an auxiliary input there, so you can play MP3s. And in all fairness, the speaker quality is not the best, but you've got to remember, it's a kid's ride on car. You've got a volume control here. You turn it off. It, it, uh, you've also got your, your voltmeter, some dials, what don't really have any purpose. But you've got a horn. Which should be working. But anyway, yeah, the horn, and you've got a music player button. Again, round here, you've got the switches and the key. So, let me just open this door. You've got your key. That pulls out, as you saw at the beginning. Goes in. And you can switch it on. Lights come on. You've got a gear shifter, automatic. So you've got reverse, neutral, forward. And then you've got RC for remote control and manual. So if the kid wants to drive it, they can drive it. And then you've got high or low speed. Now, low speed is slower than walking pace. High speed is walking pace. Let me shut this door. And this one. Now the seats... I can't really see it on this camera because it's starting to go dark. But the seats are just plastic. I've seen some with leather, well, not real leather, but look like leather. Harness, she, as I said, she's seven month old. She, uh, let me switch my light on, that's better. The harness, it kind of fits her. It's a bit loose, but it's made for three year olds and not seven month old. That's the inside. As you can see, it's built quite well, I suppose, for what it is. It's Chinese. It's made in China. It's going to have some niggles with it. It's going to have little problems every now and then. But that, if you, if you want something that's going to last, buy a proper one. As I said, I had one. Mine were 1987. And uh, they were a good one. Right, I've unscrewed the bonnet so you can see what's under here. So I'll put that bonnet over here. Obviously, you've got your motor for your steering. That's obviously the steering wheels up there. You've got like a remote control uh, receiver, and you've got the speaker. Other bits and bobs, right? Your battery. Now, your battery is. A 6FM7. Hyphen 12 volt 7 amp an hour 20 hours. I've had a look on eBay, you can buy these batteries brand new for 15 pounds. So if the battery ever goes down, you can pretty much pick them up very, very cheap. See, we've got the little grills, but yeah, I mean. No one's mentioned anything online about the range, and that will worry me, the range of this vehicle. Right. I put it on charge when we got it. It recommended to charge it for eight hours. I did, so I charged it for eight hours. I went out to the park yesterday, and we walked probably about a mile and a half. We had it on high speed, low speed, a mix of hills, downhills, flats, grass, fields. It was wet as well. So obviously mud. And it got around, we did a mile and a half. I got back, obviously last night, left it in the car. And then today we decided to go to the shop. Now, I live on a mountain, literally a mountain. I hate walking to the shop. That's why I'm fat. Because that hill is a killer. I didn't expect it to get up at... I really didn't, and it was showing me I had 12.1 volts in the battery. When, like now we've got 12.7, I've had it on charge for an hour, I've got to put it on charge for another seven. 
on the way up it was showing 10.1 i think yeah 10.1 volt and that was up the massive hill after yesterday we didn't charge it overnight or anything like that so we did about two and a bit mile in it and it still had loads of life left in it in all fairness uphill yeah it was showing 10.1 but when we were on flats it was back up to 12.2 12.4 so the battery the range you know i, I dare say it probably be about three or four mile uh but the batteries as i said are cheap i was thinking about replacing it with a lithium iron one so we get more range I don't think there's a need for it. I don't think there's a need for it. There is some design faults with it. Like this auxiliary port here. I have had to stick it back together. Because uh, I pushed the lead which is supplied with it. And... Right now it's still... It's, it's loose. I'll probably have to take this off because this just pulls off. I've tried using Q bond on it, it's not obviously not worked. Let me just get the light on it. I've glued it back with Q bond. If you've ever if you don't know what Q bond is, like it's still not worked. Q bond generally sticks anything and everything. But obviously this time it didn't work. So it uh Bit of a let down that, but then again, you've got to remember it's built in China. It's hard to get this out, by the way, so your kids, you know, will struggle to get it out. Now, the only other thing what's worrying me and concerning me is the steering. Of course, it's connected to that motor. It's not the easiest to turn. So you can imagine, obviously, when they get older, it might be a bit, a bit harder. So. But like this, I think because I've glued that, I've earthed it out by accident. So they don't work now. The lights work. As you can see when you press the, that button, change the different colours. So I'll have to fix that. But it still plays MP3s. Now the remote. Let's go on to the remote. A few other, sorry, a few other design faults. Right, the remote. And these mud flaps for the front i was going to put them on but you can't see them and it reduces your, your ground clearance on front but when they're on they go under there like they don't go as you expect them you'd expect them to go like that they don't that's how you'd want them something like that you know stick out slightly like they do on land rovers these don't they go basically under here like that you can't see them there's no point in putting them on it has no purpose there's nothing electrical there behind here what that wheel could spit mud or water at so there is there is no point unfortunately they're just they're stayed off now the remote i've just moved obviously car with it uh cheap plastic it's got, i don't know why <laughs> I don't know why it's got two uh, two dials on there, <laughs> two uh, needles on dials. So according to this, we're doing 60 miles per hour and 90 miles per hour at 4,000, possibly 7,000 RPM. Uh, if it's a diesel Land Rover, it won't go to 7,000 RPM. There, honestly, you can see cheapness in the remote. It weighs next to nothing. And that's with batteries in. It's, uh, yeah. It is the cheapest, nastiest remote you've ever seen. I think it needed three batteries, yeah. Three batteries, AA batteries. It's 27 megahertz remote. So you can buy these remotes, better quality ones, for about £30 from any good electronics store. As you can see, this is a good thing with it. Obviously, you've got your little one like mine. And I'll just... You can turn it with a remote. See, so that's what it it can do when I I am impressed with it. But 
for the money. I mean, I'll, I paid £220, uh, which I had to go and collect it from another city, which were about 60 miles away. And you see them online for up to £400, but they, they are quite good. I would recommend them. Uh, definitely buy one. Especially, as I said, our daughter, she's seven months old. And they don't recommend it for that. They're three years plus, but we're a pillar behind her. She fits in it lovely. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. And obviously, it's going to last potentially up till she's eight year old. Now the motors on it, it's got two motors. Uh, you could probably replace them quite cheap on eBay, as I can imagine. Talking about daughter, she's just woken up. Are we looking at your car? I'm visiting it. Yeah, we'll show you just the size comparison. For... Right, she's seven months old, our Lily. And she can sit in there and I can drive it for her. So, but yeah, she, as I said, she can nearly walk. She's loves it when she's in it so de i definitely recommend it definitely please buy one your kids will love it and wherever you go you get people going oh my god that is so amazing that is the coolest thing i've ever seen everyone everyone yesterday at the park have a looked in ember or were like wow that's so amazing that's brilliant so give us a thumbs up i'm going to do a video obviously with driving and a bit more detail but you can see technical side of stuff how things work and i don't think any other videos show you that i'm so i want to put a carpet in as well because it could do with one 